In this video, I'll show you how to create a one page at checkout in your WooCommerce store and let's get straight into it. Okay, so for example, here we are on our WooCommerce store and here I just configured this quick sales page here. All right, obviously you'll customize the copy and the design, but essentially we've got this single page at checkout here, right? What I've done is I've actually preloaded this particular product on this checkout form, right? So all they need to do, so for example, if you imagine this, um, if they click this add to cart button, we can add a jump link where essentially it will scroll them down to this checkout form here they fill in their information and then just hit place order it's that simple another method is we can maybe list a few different products here right and then we'll just have this add to cart function like a regular add to cart and as they're adding the items to their basket we'll be able to see their cart populate here right and then when they're ready they can just hit checkout so two different approaches but it's still achievable with the approach i'll show you all right so if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com, go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below and with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Okay, so throughout this video, I'm already assuming you've already got your sales page and all your products and everything like that already set up, right? All right, with that in mind, we'll go ahead and upload the all-in-one checkout plugin. So as plugins, add new, upload and install it. Once we've done so, we'll go ahead and create our checkout form. So we just navigate over to AOV up and then AIO checkout for all in one at checkout. Okay, and then we'll create our first checkout form. So in your case, you'll just click create checkout. Since I've already created one beforehand, I'm just going to go ahead and edit this one here. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is actually choose our template design, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and choose this single column modern layout. One thing to note is if you want to preload a product to your order form, you will need a pro version, but we can still follow along with the free version as well. So from here, we we can just click add product and then we can search for the product in which we want to preload into this um, checkout form right so we can create multiple different checkout form and basically just add to the individual sales pages all right so i've already got one selected here we can add a discount as well if we wanted i'm just going to leave it at full price we can configure the thank you page we'll just head over to fields and i'm going to remove the shipping fields because i want to utilize the billing as our billing and shipping so all i've done here so typically this is a billing field I'll just click this settings icon here and I've just renamed it to say billing and shipping right we can remove any fields we don't want and we can add additional fields as well right and to do so we just click on this settings icon and then we can just drag and drop the different fields onto our canvas right then click the settings icon here to edit it we can even conditionally display fields as well but that's for another video I'll leave a link on screen to show you how to create conditional checkout form so I'm just going to delete um, this select box here okay as I said I've just hidden this entire section by clicking this eye icon here. I've hidden our shipping fields as well. Again, if you do need a shipping method fields, then obviously you just make sure that's left enabled. We've got our order summary and then we've got our payment methods. So now we'll just head over to settings. We just want to make sure we enable this checkout form. We don't need to set it as our global checkout, but since this is the only checkout form we've got on our page, I've set it as our global checkout. But in your case, for the most part, you'll leave this on ticked, right? We'll give this checkout form a name. It's just for internal purposes. So just so we can remember it essentially. Beanie checkout, right? So instead of saying place order, we can say complete order, or we can rename it to whatever we want. We can auto automatically close this order form after a specific number of orders or even after a specific date as well. We can enable Google auto address complete, even conditional logic, but we'll just leave it here for now. We'll hit save changes. Now let's navigate back over to our main settings page. We've got two ways in how we can actually add this order form to our sales page. So one, we can copy the short code. So if we click on this action tab here, click get short code and then just OK. This is copied a short code to our clipboard, right? So if I hit paste, this is a short code. Okay. So now I'm going to navigate over to my sales page. Obviously, if you haven't created a sales page, you can do so. Just click add new and then page and then just design and configure the page to your liking, right? Okay. So this is my page design here. And then essentially for our order form, all I did was created a columns, right? I chose this one and then here I just paste in our short code. So again, this approach will work fine if you're using a page builder like element or a divi, right? So we just enter in our short code here. This will add our checkout form. Again, I've already got it here. As you can see, the order ID is exactly the same. So I don't need to. Again, another approach in how we can actually add the short code to our page is we can search for AIO and it will select AIO checkouts. And in here, we'll select the checkout form in which we want to display on the 
page, right? So it's exactly the same. I'm going to delete this since I've already got that up there. So let's delete this column. And then essentially you just hit update, right? And now when we view this page, we've got our beautiful sales page here and we've got our order form already embedded, right? Another thing we can do is we can allow customers to change the quantity as well. So to do so, we'll head back over to our dashboard. We'll click on settings and then we'll just enable checkout edit, then hit save. And now let's refresh this page. Right, and now we can increase or decrease the quantity of this particular product. Again, as I said, another approach is we can actually remove this item from our basket. So instead of automatically adding it to our basket, we can go edit this order form and let's remove this product. Hit save. And now on our sales page, right, so now with this approach, we can list our products and then essentially, and then customers can go ahead and add it to their basket. And then when they're ready, they can just go ahead and check out, right? So let's add this to our basket. Since we're using a WooCommerce block, which is a relatively new feature. So when we add it to our basket, this is actually happening in the background, right? So we need to tweak our checkout plugin to be able to listen to this call and basically update the checkout page and then update the order form without needing to refresh this page, right? So hopefully by the time you're watching this video, we would have created an update. You can automatically listen when these items are being added to the basket and automatically update this order form, right? But those are two solid approaches. So one, we can automatically add a product to our order form. And then two, we can just display our order form and then allow customers to update it, right?